Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another high anticipated and high recommended mile as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Air China Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft in a 1200 scale model. I pre-ordered and purchased this model from AirlineMuseum.com and their website address is www.AirlineMuseum.com But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model Allow me to share you some information about the history of Air China and how they came about and still operating strongly as we speak, if you would please. Air China is a Chinese based airline that was established on July 1st, 1988 and officially began operations on the very same day as a result of the Chinese government's decision to split up the operating divisions of the CAAC, the Civil Aviation Administration of China, into six separate airline carriers in late 1987. Air China, China Eastern, China Southern, China Northern, China Southwest, and China Northwest. Air China is the national flag carrier airline of the PRC, the People's Republic of China, whereas the corporate headquarters of Air China is located in the Shengyi District section of Beijing, China, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located nearby on the grounds of Beijing Capital International Airport which is located approximately 20 miles northeast of the city center of Beijing in the enclaves of the Chaoyang and Shengyi district sections of suburban Beijing, China. Air China also has another operating hub that's located on the grounds of Chengdu Shuangliu International Airport, which is located approximately 10 miles southwest of downtown Chengdu in the north of Shawangliu District that's located in the Prefecture Urban District section of Chengdu, China. Air China also has a secondary hub that's located on the grounds of Shanghai Pudong International Airport, which is located approximately 19 miles east of the city center in the Shanghai District section of Pudong. And the focus city hubs of Air China are located at Beijing Daxing International Airport, located in the Daxing District section of Beijing, China. Chongqing Jiangbei International Airport, located in Chongqing, China. Dalian Xiaosuizi International Airport, located in Dalian, China. Hangzhou Shaoshan International Airport, located in Shaoshan, China. Hoha Baita International Airport, located in Hoha, China. Kuming International Airport, located in Kuming, China. Shenzhen Bowen International Airport, located in Shenzhen, China. Tianjin Binhai International Airport, located in Tianjin, China. And Wuhan TNA International Airport, located in Wuhan, China. As of November 2021, or at the time of this video review posting, Air China currently flies to 201 destinations worldwide on six inhabited continents, as Air China is one of 10 airlines to own this actual distinction of permanently flying to all six inhabited continents along with Air Canada, British Airways, Delta Airlines, Emirates, Korean Air, Qantas, Qatar Airways, South African Airways, and United Airlines respectively with an operating fleet of 464 aircraft that includes 15 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide body aircraft including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 464 aircraft that currently operates in Air China's fleet, the Chinese-based carrier also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 105 more aircraft, which includes 15 more Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, and those aircraft as we speak are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery at the time of this video review posting. Also as of November 2021, or at the time of this video review posting, Air China is one of 150 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax magazine and the Airbus destination code for Air China on this particular aircraft is 94X. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box seat here and what you see is the aircraft type, the A350XWB the Air China airline logo, the Air China billboard title, the Chinese inscripted writing, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, as well as the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model you may see at the front of the box. All right, 
Now you're looking at the back of the box, and what you see is the airline's logo, the Air China billboard title, the Chinese inscripted writing, the aircraft type, the specification concerning this aircraft type, as well as the width and the length of the aircraft, as well as the warning information. You can pause and read that if you like, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? Now looking at the top of the box and what you see is the uh, aircraft type, the A350 XWB, the airline's logo, the Air China billboard title, the Chinese inscripted writing, as well as the 1-200 scale dock as aircraft model information you see at the top of the box. Alright, now you're looking at the bottom of the box, the same information you see there as what I showed you at the top of the box earlier, with exception on the uh, right side of the bottom part of the box. You got two different aircraft models. The first one is the registration ship number Bravo-1086. And then there's the second one, uh, Bravo-3078. Bravo-1086, the one at the top there, you see there, that's the one I'm going to do the review on, all right? Now you're looking at this metal model stand that actually came with the model. And you see at the bottom of the model stand, you see the, uh, the airline's logo the Air China billboard title, the Chinese inscripted writing, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information at the bottom of the model stand. And then you come up here, you see that black padding, everyone? The sole purpose of that black padding is not only to protect your model, but also prevent it from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand, all right? All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, all right? Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of Air China and how they came about, and they still operate strongly as we speak, plus all the details here on the front of this box, as well as the information at the back of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacement doors inside that plastic bag, with no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone. The JC Wings Air China Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft in their current livery scheme in a 1200 scale model. All right. Allow me to share you some information about the Air China Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft you're looking at here and how it became a game changer as part of their fleet. Beijing China-based Air China became the very first Chinese carrier as well as the 21st carrier in the world of aviation that acquired its prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as Air China took delivery of its first of 30 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide-body aircraft that Air China had placed orders for back on November 4, 2010 and received their very first Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft which bared the registration ship number Bravo-1086, which happened to be this aircraft you're looking at here, at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility that's located in Toulouse, France, on August 8, 2018. Air China's first inaugural flight on this aircraft took place six days later on August 14, 2018, and that's when Air China officially began utilizing this aircraft on their Beijing to Shanghai Hongqiao route then was followed by another pair of validation flights from Beijing to Chengdu on the very next day of August 15, 2018, and Beijing to Guangzhou on September 3rd, 2018, respectively, as this aircraft was soon utilized on international routes to London Heathrow, Milan Malpensa, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Frankfurt, Germany, and Munich, Germany, shortly thereafter, as Beijing capital, Chengdu, and Shanghai Pudong has become the primary gateway basis for this aircraft type, with the lion's share of their Airbus A350-900XWBs currently operates mostly out of their international gateway hubs at Beijing Capital International Airport in Beijing, China, and Shanghai Pudong International Airport in Shanghai, China, respectively. Air China has ordered a total of 30 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide-body aircraft to add to their fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, 15 are currently operating in service while the remaining 15 are on back order and are awaiting delivery as this aircraft is destined to become one of the airline's official flagship jetliners for the Beijing-based carrier 
as this particular aircraft officially became the aircraft that ultimately replaced the carrier's Boeing 777-200ER, which was eventually withdrawn from Air China's fleet on August 31, 2018. Now let's talk about the livery scheme you see on here, this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme of Air China, which has been the airline's official signature trademark livery scheme ever since Air China was founded on July 1, 1988. So. With all that information out of the way about the history of this aircraft, how it became a part of the Air China fleet, which is coming a game changer for them, as well as the livery scheme you see on here. With no further ado, everyone, let's get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Show we? Let's check it out. All right. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft, starting with the front nose gears right here, the nose gear struts. The nose gear doors featuring the partial registration ship number on it, 086. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you. See the actual radon nose cone. The cockpit windows and the windshield wipers. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those later on in the model review. But uh, what you that little decal you see between the uh, pilot escape hat, I mean, sorry, between the, uh, the cockpit windows and the L1 entrance door right here, that is the Star Alliance decal. And Air China joined the Star Alliance on December 12, 2007, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as the five founding members. And then right on the right side of the uh, L1 entrance door is the Chinese uh, flag decal, which you see this right here. And this flag decal represents the country where Air China currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the PRC, the People's Republic of China. And then you see the uh, Air China billboard tower right there by the flag decal there as well. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft. And uh, what you see is the Air China title as well as the Chinese calligraphic writing, which is this right here, as well as that. The Chinese name of the airline, Air China, was written in calligraphy by the late former national leader, Mr. Ding Xiaoping, who was born in 1904 and died in 1997, as the Air China title is also inscripted in English as well, as you can see that right there. And then now you're looking at the center of the aircraft still, we see the landing bogey gears here on the side of the aircraft, it features the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. But then you get right here, you see the big massive engines right there. And these are the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Air China Airbus A350-900 XWB extra wide body aircraft. You also see the engine cones right there as well. Now I'm gonna turn this aircraft model around let you see the front of the engines and the turbofan blaze through spin. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side of the aircraft featuring the engine strikes right here and the turbo fan blades through spin. Let's check it out. Impressive. Then you see the inboard landing lights right there on the edge of the wing and the triangle pattern, three little dots right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears on the side of the aircraft that features the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the, uh, the engines here on the starboard side, featuring the engine strikes over here as well, and the turbo fan blade spin over here as well. Let's check this out. Perfect. Perfect. Then you see the inboard landing lights right there on this side of the aircraft, as well as the front visual view of the landing uh, bogey gears on the starboard side, featuring the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the uh, aircraft, we got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, uh, the Peter tubes right there above the radon nose cone, the radon nose cone, the landing gear doors, the nose gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front landing gear, all right? All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft and what you see here, is the uh, red navigation light next to this blended winglet wingtip device. And then you see the wingtip device you see right here, this, this is called the blended winglet. And these blended winglets were made from composite materials. And the sole purpose of these blended winglets is to improve the overall efficiency of the aircraft 
resulting in saving fuel, knowing noise emissions, and improving takeoff performance at the same time. These blended winglets has a 31.9 degree sweep angle, helping to increase cruise speed to Mach 0.85 and a maximum operating speed to a Mach 0.89. The blended winglets for the Airbus A350 aircraft were produced at the Airbus Broughton factory, known as a specialist facility, located in Hawarton, Flintshire, Wales, which lies near the border of England and Wales. Now I'm gonna let you see the front of you these uh, blended winglets. Let's check them out. Now you're looking at the front visual view of the uh, blended winglet wingtip device. You see there how it sweeped off in a 31.9 degree sweep angle. I see it sweeped off there. All right, we're still on the blended winglet here on this side of the aircraft. And what you see on that blended winglet is the airline's logo, which is right here. And this is the corporate enterprise logo of Air China, as Air China's logo consists of an artistic phoenix pattern as the phoenix is actually known as a beautiful as well as a magical lucky bird, which represents an artistic transfiguration of the word VIP. As the color red is the traditional Chinese red, which implies completion, peace, and happiness, and express Air China's sincere passion to serve society and endlessly pursue safety. As this logo can also be visibly seen inside of the blended winglet. Let me show you that right now. There as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft, all right? There it is. You see how I see VIP on the tail, on that logo that represents, that logo represents VIP. That's very impressive, all right? All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft and what you see here, this little little square right there, there's the AFT bulk bin door. But more importantly, you see the, um, the Airbus A350-900 decal right there, right above the AFT uh, bulk bin door. Air China became the first Chinese airline in the PRC, the People's Republic of China, to operate the Airbus A350-900 XWB extra wide body aircraft into their fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, Air China is one of five Chinese carriers along with China Eastern Airlines, China Southern Airlines, Hainan Airlines and Sichuan Airlines that currently operate this particular aircraft type in their fleets as well. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft still, and what you see right above the windows is the actual registration ship number, Bravo-1086. Registration ship number, Bravo-1086. This aircraft is the very first of 30 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide-body aircraft that actually entered the Air China fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on May 31, 2018 and was delivered to Air China on August 8, 2018. All right, now we're at the back of the aircraft where you see the tail fin, where you see the, uh, the airline's logo, which is Resembles that of a, a phoenix shaped in the VIP. You see VIP. And then you see the APU exhaust hole right here, right there, as well as the two strobe light that sits underneath the APU exhaust hole, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check that out. There it is. Awesome. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the uh, starboard slash right side of the aircraft where you see the front nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on there, 086. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, the radon nose cone. There's some more uh, Peter tubes right there, the cockpit windows, the windshield wiper, the pilot escape hatch door, the Star Alliance decal, the Chinese flag decal, the Air China billboard title, as well as the front cargo containing loading door. All right, now you're looking at the center of the future lives here on the starboard side where you see the Air China title and the Chinese calligraphic writing. Was well, the calligraphic writing, as I mentioned earlier, it meant Air China in the uh, simplified Chinese language right there. And then you're looking at the engines here, the Rolls Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines there, the engine cone, as well as the front, visual, the side visual view of these landing gears including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right, 
Now looking at the blended winglet on this side of the aircraft featuring the airline's logo, which the, uh, presents a sense of a phoenix uh, magical bird there. That's the logo, as well as the green navigation like you see here at the edge of the blended winglet. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the uh, rear cargo containing loading door, the Airbus A350-900 decal, the registration ship number, as well as the airline's logo displays on the tail fin of the aircraft on this side as well. Perfect. All right. Before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage bear view of this aircraft model in full detail, allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. I'm going to tell you right now, these, these gears on this particular model don't roll that good, but I'm going to show you anyway. Yeah, you see there? See the front nose gear? You see there's a little struggle there. But it does tilt, as you can see there. But the nose gear swivels, as you can see there, barely. Oh, no, nah, it's not. I only swivel to one side, unfortunately, everyone. But anyway, with that said, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front. See the, uh, the radon nose cone, the pitot tubes, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the pilot escape hatch door. And then you come up this way. You see the Air China title as well as the Chinese flag decal on both sides, the anti-collision beacon light right there, the Wi-Fi box antenna, a high frequency antenna, and then you slide up here the ADF antennas in 3D, another high frequency antenna, and that is the satellite communications antenna. And then there's another antenna, and there's the vertical stabilizer known as the tail, as well as the horizontal stabilizer it features a little dot right there, as well as the dot over there. Them little dots are called the illuminator lights, and the sole purpose of those illuminator lights is to light up this tail here when it actually flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the engines and the wings. See the engines right there with the engine strike, as well as the uh, flaps, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. The registration ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the uh, blended winglet featuring the airline's logo on this side of the aircraft. And then you come over this way, the engine there featuring the engine strikes there, as well as the top of the wing that features the flaps, slats, ailerons, spores, what have you, the Air China title, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended wing featuring the uh, airline's logo on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front here. You see the nose cone. And that closed nose gear door, I found out what that flying was. Jeff Clark flying told me what that really was. That's called the pilot escape hatch door. I guess that's the door they use to need escape, whatever, in case of emergency. And then there's the open nose gear door right there featuring the nose gear. And then you come up this way, a couple of high frequency antennas. The hole where the stand goes in at. The anti-collision beacon light. And then you, a couple more free, uh, frequency antennas. And then there's the APU housing doors as well as the uh, horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears and the engines right here. Okay, they tilt, perfect. And then you see the engine right there as well as the wings underneath that features the flaps, slats, aileron, spoils, what have you. The registration ship number, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet on this side featuring the airline's logo. And then let's check out this side here. The engines there, gears, the engines, as well as the wings underneath that features the flaps, slats, aileron, spoils, what have you. The Air China title, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet featuring the airline's logo on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, I'm now me to put this on that nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model. So no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out. All right, if 
find God on the stand with no problem, no hesitation, as you see it being displayed on the stand in the takeoff landing position, with the bottom stand being viewed from the port side of the aircraft. And now you see this model being viewed in the takeoff landing position, with the model stand being viewed from the front view angle. Now you're looking at this model in the takeoff landing position with the model on stand being viewed from the starboard side of the aircraft. And finally, you're seeing this model with the model on stand being viewed in the takeoff landing position being viewed from the tail cam angle. All right. Before I take this model to stand, I got in this position for a reason, and the reason is the magnetic gears that came with the model. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all, starting with the front nose gear, said magnetic right there. The gears here on the uh, port side, there. And the gears on the starboard side, there. Since I took all the gears off this model, I'm going to let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode position with the model on the stand. Let's check it out. Okay, now you see this model being viewed with the model stand being displayed in flight mode position without the gears in the gear up position preferably. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model from this point on. If you want to continue to display that with the gear up without the gears in flight mode position like that, that's fine. You see these gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag I showed you earlier featuring the two little toothpicks. That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors so you can substitute your uh, gears while you display it like this in flight mode position. Or you can do what I suggested, just keep it in the gear down position. Gear down, gear up, your choice. I choose to keep mine in gear down position because it adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model and wrap up this model review, all right? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration on this aircraft. The Air China Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft seats 312 passengers in a three class configured cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone from rows 11 to 18 which will be from here to here. You have 32 business class lie flat bed seats rows 31 to 33 which will be from here to about right there. You have 24 premium economy class seats in rows 34 to 63, which would be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 256 economy class seats, which brings a total of 312 seats. And in addition to Shanghai Hongqiao, Chengdu, and Guangzhou as the first inaugural validated flight destination for this particular aircraft, Air China currently utilizes this aircraft or have previously utilized this aircraft the Airbus A350-900XWB's extra wide body aircraft on routes from Beijing capital to Singapore Changi, London Heathrow, Milan Malpensa, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Munich Germany and Shanghai Hongqiao and from Shanghai Pudong to Frankfurt Germany, Milan Malpensa, London Gatwick, Osaka Kansai, Los Angeles California and London Heathrow. Those were the, those are the routes currently. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. I know a couple of retailers still had this model as we speak. Airline Museum is one of them, and there's some other various retailers as well as you can get it on eBay as well. So, with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming.